words. Glory to God. Thy words were found. Were found. And I did eat them. And I did eat them. And well, somebody got to serve it to you. Somebody. For you to eat them, somebody got to serve them to you. That's right. And they got to serve it just like it's prepared. Oh, yeah. That's all I am. I'm a server. Servant. I'm a server of truth. That's I can't right. add nothing to it. Nothing. I have to serve it like it is. Raw. <laughs> That's right. Raw. <laughs> That's right. Raw. Salty, because Jesus salty. says salt is good. That's right. Amen. I believe in this book of Revelation. The angel told John to eat. The eat, book. eat the book. John said, when I ate it, it was in my mouth, sweet as honey. That's right. But when it got to my belly, bitter. It was bitter. Bitter. Oh, it's falling off? All right, let it fall off. <laughs> so the word of God is sweet in your mouth. That means sometimes when people first hear it, they're excited. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, they're so happy. Oh, that didn't our heart yet burn. <laughs> <laughs> While he speak with us. And they don't wait to get an understanding. Oh, they jumping all behind the pews. Oh, Lord, thank you for bringing me to the truth and everything. But then when they be around in a while, thank God, the bitterness set in the stomach. Set in the stomach. Can't live together, not married no more. Mm. Amen. He can't have that second or third wife no more. That's right. Amen. He got to stop being a transgender. Mm. And she got to stop acting like butch. That's right. Amen. She got to lay aside her pants and he got to come out of his dresses. That's right. He got to stop wearing his wife pumps. Yeah. And wearing his wife bobby pins. Yeah. Yeah. Bitter. She got, he, she and he got to lay aside their wigs and their Walgreen ponytails. That's right. And their CVS bangs. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Got to stop dyeing their hair. Yeah. You got to leave everything original the way heaven made you. I did. Are you listening? Thy words were found. Thy words were found. Was found. And I did eat them. You are discovering the word tonight, discovering. Indiana. Oh, yeah. And what you got to do? I did eat you them. You got to start eating. You, you can't be choicy. You can't spit it out. <laughs> if you want to be right with God, you got to eat. Eat. You just eat them. That's it. When I was little, you know, I was trying to take a shortcut. My mother, I remember one day she fixed some collard greens, you know. And sometimes as children, you try to be slicker than your parents. Oh, yeah. Amen. Not, not too dumb to realize that your parents been there already. So I remember me and my youngest brother was in the kitchen. Neither one of us liked collard greens. I love them now. <laughs> but the collard greens was on the table and my father said, all right, let's eat them greens up. I mean, don't you move from this table. See, back in the old time, your parents, they didn't care if that food got cold. When they say eat it, they mean eat it because mother or father would tell you, I don't have no money to waste. And they had a quote, money don't grow on trees. <laughs> so me and my brother, Rock, we were slick, you know. Uh, we took our greens. Rock said, Nikki, let's take our greens and throw them behind the refrigerator. <laughs> <laughs> Now, I was, I'm five years older than my youngest brother. And you would think I would have better sense, but I didn't. <laughs> On the walls in my mother's kitchen at the time, there was covered with a certain uh, uh, laminated material where you, if grease get on the walls, you can use four or nine or something and wipe the walls down. So I say, yeah, let's do that. So I remember she had a double door freezer. Freezer. It was like a greenish color, and we figured it, it, the greens will blend in. <laughs> you know the minds of children. God help you. We believe that the greens will blend in and wouldn't be noticed because we throw it behind the refrigerator. I mean, we got a handful of them collars, and we had a rain day in that kitchen. <laughs> Just leaving, and we, would, we didn't pay it any mind that each handful of greens was leaving grease spots. <laughs> and it was just trickling down the wall. We didn't pay to no mind. Father came in, you ate those greens? Yeah, liars. <laughs> and my father looked, and just so happened how sharp his eye was, he looked at the direction of the scraping of the plate. Now, who 
does that? <laughs> and he knew forks don't make that kind of scrape. <laughs> and he looked. He said, you ate the greens, huh? Me and my younger brother said, yeah. He said, all right. Mm -hmm. He walked right over to the refrigerator. I said to myself, we're dead. <laughs> he said, you threw it behind the refrigerator, didn't you? Now, we both lied and said no. Little did we realize there were still remnants of the greens on the wall. He said, then what's that on the wall then? Me and my brother said, roaches. <laughs> He said, liar! <laughs> Glory to God. We try to make it something that it was not, but when pain came, it brought the truth out. I'm trying to keep us from the pain of hell. That's right. Glory to God. The truth of the gospel is here for us to obey now. Yes. It will contradict many things that you was raised upon, taught, learned, believed, and was loyal to. That's right. The Bible corrects everything in life. Right. Stop looking at your position. Stop looking at you're a preacher, yeah. you're a deacon, you're a mother, you're a choir singer. Look at your human. That's right. And the word of God care is to correct, correct everything that has deviated. That's why when Jesus died and came on back, it is written plainly about his apostles. Then opened he their understanding that they might understand, understand the, scriptures. the scriptures. That's it. When men fail to understand the scriptures, you got to be led wrong. That's right. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Right. They have no choice but to lead you wrong. Oh, yeah. Because 99.9 .9 of churches, the teaching is tradition. Yeah. Hand it down from father to father to son to father to son to father to son. Tradition, 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 tradition. And none of the members of these organizations ever take time to question Tradition. That's right. So we assume for years that these years of teaching, which is nothing but tradition, we assumed it was scriptural. That's right. Until somebody come along and tell you, show me that in the Bible. Yeah. Yeah. That's why you hear me over there. You folk going to churches, knock on your pastor door and tell him, show me in the Bible. I'm a Baptist church. Yeah. Show me in the Bible. Who were Methodists? Show me in the Bible. Who were Catholic? Show me Scientology in the Bible. Show me a religion in the Bible called Christianity. Christians is in the Bible. They was first called Christians at Antioch. That's a person trying to live like Christ. Christianity is not in the Bible. That's a religion they claim started by Christ, and that ain't never been in the Bible. Mark chapter 7 and at verse 5. Says what? Then the Pharisees and scribes asked him, What? Why walk not thy disciples? Why walk not thou disciples? According to the tradition. According to the tradition. Of the elders. That's the problem with Indiana and the world. That's right. You are a bunch of traditionalists. traditionalists. That's why you sprinkle for baptism and pray to Mary who don't know you and you don't know her. Yeah. This is why you pray to three persons, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost, and there ain't no three slapping you in your head. No. As you hear me say over the air, Will used to be less like that. He was blind and deceived of that devil. <laughs> But God saved him. God saved me. And delivered him. And delivered so me. So he don't be a fool no longer. That's right. Am I right, William? Yes, you're right, Pastor. Hear what it says. Why walk not thy disciples according to the tradition? You that are here are traditionalists, many of you. Yeah. Many of you go to church every Sunday because of Sunday. That's right. You done partied on Friday, partied all day Saturday. Yeah, you go to church on Sunday with your boyfriend. Who you live together with and you're not married. That's right. 
Go to church and play the organ on the drums with your hair longer than a woman. Longer than a woman. Are you listening? That's right. Go to church and serve on the deacon board. <laughs> or one of the ushers in the church ushering with an ankle chain on. <laughs> How hell bound can you be? That's right. The preachers are some of the blindest men in the world. The danger is this. If one soul die believing a lie, yeah. one lie, that preacher got you damned throughout the all eternity. All eternity. If you believe one lie. That's right. How many things did Adam do to get put out the garden? Wow. Think of it. He didn't do a whole scroll. No. One thing. One thing. He got put out the garden. One lie you believe, one lie. you are go to hell. That's right. Just one? Just one. Hear me good, brothers and sisters. Just you one. that are preachers and your wife is your assistant pastor. Mm -hmm. And she tell you, you can believe what Pastor Jennings say all you want. You try to sit me down, then the bed going to get cold. And you'll find that spineless, weak hypocrite. Well, we won't have <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Right then he laughed at his wife. <laughs> well, we, we won't go that far. Let's pray about it. Right. Why do I got to pray about what the Bible say don't have? <laughs> That's right. Bible say, thou should not steal. I ain't got to pray about not stealing. No. Just don't do it. Just don't do it. Bible said, I suffer not a woman to teach. No, they use of authority over the man, but to be in silence. Silence. Get it down from the pulpit. That's right. That's right. And stop being a henpeck for your wife. That's and your mama. And your grandmama. Amen. I want this to be good for every undercover Indiana woman preacher. But I suffer not a woman to teach. Hear, 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 hear this. First Timothy chapter 2. I want to say why every time you preach this. Because all of you ain't sat down yet. Amen. Until every one of you sat down, I'm going to keep sounding the alarm. Oh, yeah. Amen. Some of you the very henpecked men. You're very henpecked. You don't want to sit your wife down from the pulpit because you're afraid she won't give you no home leg. Oh, that's right. That's right. Therefore, her hips and thighs and breasts mm. dictate the pulpit. Yeah. The only thing for the dictate the pulpit is God's word. That's it. Not your wife's thighs. That's right. If your wife's thighs dictate the pulpit for one second, you're not a preacher. Amen. Are you listening? But I suffer not a woman to teach. Do you hear this? Do you hear this? That go for any so-called young ministers in here too. Yeah. That's sitting under these false churches. That's why many of you young men sit under these women and preachers. They get mad with me. Yeah. Oh, he was doing all right till he bothered that, you old henpeck. <laughs> Amen. As you, listen, as I say moreover, did you think I was any different in person <laughs> than what you saw over the air? The only difference is you can get mad at me at home and turn it off. You can get mad now, but you can't turn me off. That's right. And it ain't no static in here. That's right. <laughs> Are you listening? The purpose of the scriptures is to correct all of us Get rid of all of our tradition. Yeah. Get rid of everything we believe, thought, and was raised and taught. And start fresh with Bible. That's right. Fresh with Bible. It doesn't matter if the whole church has got to make a whole change. If you're not going to do it like the scripture says, close your church up. That's right. The right. uh, Indiana preachers, they knew I was coming. <laughs> Amen. Pretty sure they told some of the members, don't you go there. Don't you go there. Hey, man, there was one area, the preachers heard I was coming. They were so mad. They, they, they all in the city got together and had a fellowship service on Saturday and Sunday, hoping that to keep their members from coming. Mm. Lord, thank God, but the people crept out and came anyway. Amen. <laughs> 
that go to show you how strong the truth is. Oh, yeah. In my world travel, I realize that there are many people, they are sick and tired of this trash that is pretending to be church. You mean to tell me you think all this junk that you see on social media is church? Are you that dumb? Even a sinner know that trash is not church. That's right. These so-called things call themselves Christians. Look at Kirk Franklin. Mm. The dumbest dummy in the world know there ain't no Christian. That's right. That's not even a man. No. Am I right? Amen. Ain't no holy sanctified man gonna be up there dancing, twerking his behind for a bunch of people. Who will believe Tyler Perry is some Christian? That's right. Imagine that, a Christian cross-dresser. Cross-dresser. A faggot on Monday and a saint on Sunday. The problem with many of us, we are spoiled going to these churches. So you don't have no spine. We became church-going cowards. Scared to stand up for what is written in that Bible. That's right. You read the Bible, but you're scared to stand up for the Bible. We sit in these churches and grumble and complain, and the preachers don't say nothing. Yeah. All this sin in the world, and the only message the preachers got, you can lose them with the stuff I use. Them. Touch, the same, touch the person next to you and say, neighbor, it's mine today. Oh, turn to your left and say, neighbor, it's mine today. Claim your blessing. Claim your blessing. God got a blessing with your name on it. Jesus ain't got nothing with nobody. <laughs> you want a name? Get his name. That's it. Get his name. That's it. Repent. Repent. Be baptized in the honor, every one of you. Every one of you. In the name of Jesus Christ. That's it. This junk that's being taught, this is why we're debunking it. Yeah. And the preachers on social media, man, they're hollering about me by the hundreds. Oh, yeah. I mean, they're hollering. Pastor Jen is this. Pastor Jen is that. We have became such a tough. The truth of God is the most popular religious program on social media. Amen. Amen. Preachers from different countries fighting it. African bishops fighting it. I'll be in Africa, God willing, in August. Yeah. And I guarantee not one African preacher will show up to fight this. Amen. Lord, that God will hook him up to a mule and plow him through the continent with Bible. That's right. Jesus is coming. Yes, he is. And everybody needs to stop this playing church. That's right. The only reason why folks is upset with me, I'm like the grandpa that the children don't want to visit because they've been spoiled by their mother and father. And I come with the Bible and wear your Indiana behinds out <laughs> with Bible. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. When I was little, <laughs> my father would tell you, I didn't buy those clothes to beat out. I bought them clothes for you to wear out. Take your clothes off. Mm. God didn't make you to sin yourself out with sin and wickedness. No. God made you for his glory. His glory. And if God made you for his glory, God got the right to tell you what he wants you to do, how he wants you to do it, what he wants you to stop doing, what you got to obey, where you can't go, where you can't go, what you can say, what you can't say, what you got to put on, what you got That's to right. stop worrying, because God said, all souls are mine. That's right. Oh. All souls. All souls are mine. Are mine. Are mine. So if God is the boss, he got the right to tell you everything about yourself. That's right. Am I right, Indiana? Come on, son. But I suffer not a woman to teach. No, what? I suffer not a woman to teach, nor to your sub-authority over the man.